everybody, it's Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So I'm standing here once again with Chad Albers, owner yeah. of Cornerstone Home Inspection, and I'm just going to have Chad talk about a couple of very, you know, minor and really easy things to be thinking about as we're going into the fall season. I know one of the things that Chad was first going to talk about was uh, humidifiers. So. Yeah, well just, uh, you know, we're getting into the fall into the colder weather. So humidifiers, as everybody knows, if you've got one and it's hooked up to your whole house, to your ductwork on your furnace, you're going to use that and they are great. They're going to give you more humidity in the winter time. So what it's going to do is it's going to make you feel better. Your skin's going to feel better, your house, all your woodwork and um, any furniture, anything you have, it's not going to crack out as much. Um, but really essentially with the humidifier right now, when we're getting into this fall season, you're going to want to turn it on at your humidistat, which is usually located Maybe up, it could be up on your ductwork, but usually it's up by your, um, in your, like your dining room or your living room, and then it's going to be next to your thermostat. So you're going to want to turn that on, and we want about 30 to 35% in your house. So uh, you can purchase anything from Amazon or anywhere. It's going to kind of give you an idea of what you've got for humidity in your house, but 30 to 35% is what you want. But remember, there's a filter inside here that you want to change. Uh, it's pretty easy. This system this is a little older one here, but this one's up underneath here. So you might have to have your furnace company do it, but if you want to tackle it yourself, it's not that hard to do. But you can pop up on some of these. They've got a little inspection cover you can pop off and you can look inside there. But just remember to change your furnace filter. And remember right here is a damper that kind of opens and closes. It's just a manual damper, very easy. You've got it open or closed, and you can usually look inside to see if it's open or closed. But pretty simple, turn it on at your humidistat. Make sure the filter's clean. Make sure the water's draining out and it's not leaking anywhere. And open the damper for the winter time so the system is working. Uh, and I think you'll be a lot happier if you got a little humidity in your house in the winter. It just, you know, humid air feels a little warmer. But that's about it. Pretty simple little system. So. Okay, thanks, Chad, for that. That's awesome. Um, if any of you guys have any questions on, you know, even if it's uh, just some other basic tips that you might have some questions about from a homeowner maintenance standpoint. Feel free to reach out to me. I can certainly put you in touch with Chad. Um, you know, he's been a world of resources, you know, for me over the years. Um, and again, guys, reach out to me if there's anything that I can do to help you guys. Have a great one. Talk to you later. Thank you.